blessings everyone welcome back to kyle's cavern i hope you guys are doing well feeling well i am coming on today to do a video on natural citrine if you are new to my channel or if you if you've been on my channel for a while you know that i did do a video on citrine before but i wanted to do an updated version on it new here uh, i will introduce myself to you guys i'm kyle i'm owner and operator here on youtube as kyle's cavern and also i operate medicine bag here we I educate individuals and also including myself learning about minerals and herbs and we have a good community here with that of individuals who are interested in the same thing so if you're wanting to join us and you know join the 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 uh what, what do i call you guys like if you guys want like a like a name for you guys please let me know uh but get on in make sure you do grab your tea grab your candle your incense uh, grab anything that you know helps you feel comfortable and cozy or you can just have me playing in the background please please feel free to subscribe and uh, make sure you hit that bell, bell notification so you won't miss any videos but without further ado or wasting any more of your time let's jump right on into citrine now citrine is a, another type of quartz so we all know clear quartz you know everyone possibly has a clear quartz in their uh, stash of crystals but the hardness of citrine will be a seven so it's very good for jewelry it, you can see a lot of citrine made into into rings into pendants i can always uh i'll always recommend that you can definitely take minerals and gemstones of your own and you can definitely go to a jewelry maker training in some jewelry so you can definitely get um a real uh, piece of citrine or like a, even like a a shard of citrine a decent shard of citrine and definitely to take it to a jewelry maker and put it in jewelry so it's very great for jewelry it's very durable citrine natural citrine is one that i think is sometimes overlooked uh mainly because it can look like a smoky quartz but the golden hue that is within citrine is what gives it you know that citrine and that comes from the hematite hematite is a, another mineral but it's made hematite is made up of oxygen and iron and ox, also hematite is another type of iron oxide on iron oxide in previous videos talking about carnelian and sunstone so citrine definitely has iron oxide within it so you can definitely sometimes find some trace elements near the base um so this is a good example of you seeing that iron oxide you guys can see it's, there was a location where it looks like this crystal almost was self-healing but um this is where it was plucked from the rock matrix so iron oxide is a another indicator that it is natural citrine so you can always look for trace elements on the stone if it's like dusting on it like in any of the you know you know crevices on the stone you can definitely tell that that's a natural citrine so that's one of the another indicator as well but citrine is a great great stone for your solar plexus and also congo citrine or the new age term for congo citrine would be kundalini citrine and your kundalini energy is located at the center of your spine and it goes actually at the back of your head all the way down to your from your root chakra all the way up and out so working with Congo Citrine helps you to activate and clear your chakras as well. So I do recommend that. It's not only just I feel for your, like Citrine is a special case I, I do feel because it not only works on strengthening your solar plexus, but I think it definitely has a way of clearing and cleansing your other chakras as it's awakening that Kundalini energy within you. So. Um, I definitely do highly recommend that. And uh, seasonal affective disorder is very prominent during this time. So uh, you can either grab yourself some citrines, uh, some ambers, um, sunstones, and all those different types of natural crystals. You can definitely use those during uh, the winter months. So yes, citrine. Citrine has also been known, as you know, as you may have heard, as the abundance crystal. So citrine has been often oftentimes used to attract abundance money and anything that has to do with money prosperity if you are looking to rent a house sell a house or if you're even looking for a new job 
and pulling in that energy of currency, you can definitely work with citrine. Citrine is an awesome stone to pull in that prosperity. Now, what I'm showing you here are different, are two different types of Congo citrines. Now, I do wanna get into a little bit of identification for the minerals because that's what I kind of like to study the most. I love looking at minerals individually and see how they grow. So, so Congo citrines, yes, they do look similar to, especially this one. This would almost be called like a Madeira citrine, natural Congo citrine, um, because of how dark and, and, and orange or brown it is but it has a golden yellow hue so you can see right there against the white door that golden hue that's what makes it a citrine so you can also sometimes get them in a more more orangey color but you can also sometimes get them as like a champagne color so it all depends and they're always in honey colors you will never find a citrine a natural citrine that's not in a honey like natural looking honey like it's not going to be a very bright orange or bright yellow um, a lot of times sellers that may not tell individuals that this stone may be dyed or this stone is possibly heat treated they will go about um you know people will go about buying these minerals and then like going back and doing research on them and realizing that it's not what you know you see on youtube or other people have um not to say that that if it's made out of quartz it's still not a quartz but i think working with the real deal crystals definitely does help but there is a lot of debate around natural citrine and you know the heat treated citrine there's a lot of debate between the crystal community about who's right and who's wrong but i definitely all de that all depends on this personal you can definitely even the heat treated citrines i'll definitely put pictures up so you guys can see the heat treated version of citrine the heat treated citrines always look like geodes and they will often be sold as geodes or dog tooth points and you can get those dog tooth points from geodes and bigger geodes so they'll probably pluck them off you can actually kind of see the formation of that dog tooth formation on the on the front crystal there and you can off, oftentimes see with the geodes is that they're attached to agate you can always sometimes see agate near a geode type formation of a citrine and also the color zoning you will never all the citrines the natural citrines you will never find them having a white base and then the color starts it's the color runs throughout the crystal evenly another citrine that has some good points so you can see that the structure of the two are very different see the geodes come more you know flat and a lot more you can still get humongous geodes but they'll be like sitting up Citrines, natural citrines definitely have a, a different character. If you are, if you were ever looking for a crystal that had like that crystal formation that you probably see in like cartoons and stuff, then you would definitely get that from the structures of crystals that have that sprouting formation. And I, I definitely, I'll put up a formation picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And this is called abundance crystals. So that means that there is a main crystal, and this is actually a sprouting quartz. And quartz is different than candle quartz. And I definitely put pictures up so you guys can see, but you have a, for the sprouting formation or for the abundance formation, you will always have a parent crystal in the center. And then you will have a cathedral sprouting formation of crystals on the side. And this is very common, a very common growth in the Congo citrines. A Congo citrines will oftentimes have, you know, the parent crystal in the center and then the baby crystals running along the bottom. And of course, lots of rainbows. You can definitely work with the energies of the rainbow. That's all personal too, but, um, you know, especially working with um, African deities, Dambala Aida Wido is, you know, the serpentine energy and also Aida Wido is a rainbow serpent. So you can definitely tap into those energies. If you if you practice Ifa or if you practice working with the Arishas um, or if you know anything about Hoodoo and Voodoo, if you do practice Hoodoo and Voodoo, you can definitely tap into those energies of 
the rainbow, you know, the, the energies of, you know, the purest light. So, um, cause you know, white is all the colors mixed together. So we're gonna get a little bit into the locations of where you can find a natural citrine. So locations that you may see with different locations of where citrine grows. So oftentimes with citrines that come from Madagascar, you will find long, you know, crystalline structures, you'll find long points. And the colors, they kind of come smoky sometimes. So you can oftentimes see like this black uh, hue within the Madagascar citrine. And, and I'll definitely put some more pictures up on the side so you guys can see of different types of Madagascar citrines up close. Cause I don't know, I'm not sure if the color is doing it well, but you can definitely work with Madagascar citrines. You can sometimes get citrines from Zambia and I'll put pictures up for Zambia citrines. Those have more of a matte like finish over them. It look more a bit of like an ashiness to them. You can work with Zambia. Also, of course, you can find your Congo citrines. And like I said, I love the, the characteristic uh, look of the Congo citrines of the sprouting formation. And you can oftentimes find them in Scotland. Scotland is a really great place to find citrines because smoky quartz and citrine, they grow in the same location because they're kind of similar as to the elements that make them up. A lot of the times, speaking of elements, the color that citrine, the color that you know gives citrine its color is actually from iron so you can oftentimes see bits of hematite um see right here the red is hematite you can some people will call this a or citrine kundalini congo citrine or kundalini citrine because it definitely does have that iron the iron oxide definitely helps to ground you and the quartz itself because quartz is very amplifying uh clear quartz or citrine quartz it's its chemical makeup is very amplified, it amplifies energy. Um, so you can definitely oftentimes with these, with the more Madeira citrines, you can definitely use these as more of a smoky citrine. So you're getting that smoky quartz alongside citrine as well. If you happen to be a Scorpio, Libra, or a Sagittarius, you can definitely work with citrine. I will always say you are made up of all the star constellations. Your body is as within, as above, so below, as within, so without. So um, anyone who can work with any gemstone, but um, if you are into astrology and you are looking for a stone that matches with you, so you can definitely work with um citrine the uses of citrine and how you can use it um well citrine is like i said it's very based in solar plexus so it really helps with your willpower it is a push citrine definitely has a, a, an awesome push so you can definitely i would i would say as well before we get more into the properties and how you can use it well a, a way that you can use citrine as well is in crystal grids so if you have like some points or if you may have any um uh, you can al always use the baked citrine, natural citrine points. You can always opt for the heat treated variety of citrine in your crystal grids or in your workings in general. I always say that these minerals are personal to you. Definitely feel like if you've been looking to awaken your Kundalini energy, so even sitting it with citrine in meditation is really great. It, you know, you can definitely do mudras. You can definitely. Do, to do meditations, even if you're just having it around you as a pendant, as jewelry, natural citrine. It's best to kind of have it in a functional piece. So like jewelry, so you can definitely sit with it and hold it. You can definitely, you know, pull in those warm energies, those sun energies. And also the name citrine actually just comes from the name citron, the Latin word citron, so, um, or lemon. So uh, it definitely does have that, that lemonade type of energy to citrine um very happy very joyous if you find yourself even going to parties and you may be uh not that expressive as um if you're going to certain events and stuff like that and you definitely don't want to bring the energy down you can definitely work with citrine to help you 
loosen up a little bit. I definitely do find citrine wet. C citrine will not allow you to be a party pooper. That is the energies of citrine. Citrine gives off so much light energy, so much great energy that it's the anti-party pooper stone. So um, if you've been looking to definitely, it, and not even just being a party pooper because we all have emotions, but it definitely uh, allows you to look on the brighter side of things, look on the lighter side of things and uh, transform that. And I definitely can see why Citr uh, Citrine can be tied to Scorpio too, because it's a very transfer a transformation stone. It definitely helps to amplify. Um, so another way that you can also use Citrine, um, and also through history, how people have used Citrine, natural Citrine, is putting it in their cash drawers or putting it in your money corner. So that's the left, the farthest left corner in your house. And also if you have a shrine, if you have a altar, you can definitely put, if you put money on there too, you can definitely put citrine in that left corner as well um, to boost that energy as, as for prosperity and abundance to flow through your environment, your home. You can get clusters, you can get points. Oftentimes, uh, I even for especially with Congo citrines, the points will kind of like never be alone because you'll definitely get your main point, but with the abundance crystals on the side. So um, you can definitely get you a point uh, or you can definitely opt for clusters some some people say that citrine doesn't come in clusters uh it, they do um and they sometimes will have like a geyser or a cathedral like like i said sprouting formation to them and yeah these congo citrines are just beautiful i don't know how how could you not want to work with this guy? Have a citrine that is heat treated. I would definitely say just be mindful of the structure of the stone. If it's a very, very dark orange, if it's been heat treated to a very, very dark orange, uh, some points could just fall off just because it's very friable at that point because they cooked it in the oven for so long or they heated it for so long that it became darker. So some points will fall off. So just be mindful of that. You have heat treated gemstones and they work for you. Keep using them. That does not mean don't go off of what anyone else tells you. If they work for you, definitely work with them. I would definitely say that just personally, I feel like the since the energy has stepped up globally in, in our atmosphere and in our solar system, um the congo citrines their energy has definitely increased and in awakening your kundalini energy your spiritual self it definitely helps now to, i feel like now to work with congo citrine if because we're in the age of aquarius the age of awakenings the age of i know and congo citrines or kundalini citrines can definitely help to open you up to your higher self to your spiritual self so i definitely recommend Congo Citrines. Definitely find them if you have a vendor, uh, you can ask around to see if a seller has any. I know that Congo Citrines can be very expensive for some shops to carry, so you can definitely ask around and see if you can possibly get some Citrines uh, ordered, ordered into the shop. You can definitely just go pick them up. Um, if the seller has any knowledge of any um, miners or any people who sell natural citrines. Another seller, you can always opt for Etsy. Etsy has great sellers that sell Congo citrines. You can get medium size points, well, small size points, medium size points, larger points, clusters. So um, I will say with the natural citrines, the prices will be a little bit higher than the heat treated. And that's just because of Citrine, natural citrine is classified as a rare quartz. So that's another reason why you will see a high price tag with natural citrine. So don't get scared. If you do, I always say if you have the money for your spiritual tools and if you've been looking to, you know, acquire more tools to help you, then definitely go for it. Um, you don't want to miss out, you know, see it, like see one and try to go back and it's gone and they probably won't sell it. So if you do see a citrine, a natural citrine, definitely grab it. It has to be a currency when working with citrine. So a citrine operates off the flow of currency. So um, I would definitely highly recommend yourself take your time looking for gemstones. But if you see one in store or if you see one online, if it's been calling to you and if you have you know, everything else taken care of, then you can definitely grab yourself some citrine that is a, this is, I wanna say I love citrine. That's one of my favorite gemstones. I highly recommend, highly recommend citrine. And um, 
yes, this was a small video about working with Citrine. I will do a follow-up video when I get more pieces so you guys can see different ways that Citrine grows and looks. But yes, when it comes to the darker Citrines or the lighter Citrines, that's all personal when it comes to the power. So how this one is a lot more smoky and this Citrine is, is a lot more of that, you know, lighter orange. That's all personal and it's to you. I definitely do feel like the darker colors have that more protective energy and the lighter colors, you know, they just have like that abundance of what Citrine gives, you know, that natural vibe of Citrine. So I definitely highly recommend either or. And take your time working with crystals. And if you do have Citrine personally, natural Citrine, let me know how it's working for you. I, I love hearing people's stories about working with minerals, gemstones, herbs. Um, I do read the comments, so I will be making sure that I get back to each and every one of you. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys enjoyed today's video on natural Citrine. Like I said, there will be another follow-up video on this mineral, so please stay tuned for that. But, um, since we are in Sagittarius season, I definitely want to make sure that I hit on those minerals. So please look out for minerals that are based within this season. So um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it. Anyone who loves minerals or who are interested in working with more minerals, please share this to any crystal lover. If you've been looking to become a member, please subscribe. We would love to have you here. Um, this is a safe space for people who are interested in a community of individuals who love spirituality as well so um this is a love channel this is a great space a sacred space for everyone to come and you know broaden their minds and with that i'm helping myself too because there's so much new information on everything minerals plants new plants being discovered new minerals being discovered the earth is always changing and shifting so it's always new things every day so i really do hope that today you're having a good day on this new day and i hope that you discover something new today anything so i will hope that you guys have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys in the next one take care guys